Hi, I'm Kevin Monahan, longtime Final Cut Pro editor and trainer, and I'm looking to make the switch to Premiere Pro. All right, and I'm Carl Soule. Uh, I do work for Adobe. I've been uh, working with Premiere Pro for many, many years. So, so more questions? More questions, Carl. Um, loaded, loading them up. Uh, so, last time we just got a general overview about where things were and a few things that were kind of hidden from me, and that was helpful, but now I want to get into some more of the like nitty gritty stuff. Um, I am a keyboard shortcuts fiend. As a matter of fact, I think that that's the best way to edit is, is as a keyboard driven workflow. Can you show me like a couple of really quick, important keyboard shortcuts uh, just to get me kind of started? Okay, yeah, there's, uh, there's one that I use uh, constantly inside of uh, Premiere Pro. Um, that happens to be the backslash key. Mm -hmm. um, it, it serves kind of a dual purpose. If mm -hmm. I go in and I start zooming in on an edit point inside my timeline. Mm -hmm. uh, how um, am I zooming, by the way? Um, it's just the, uh, well, think of the plus and minus keys, but you don't need to add like control or command oh, okay. or anything like that. It's okay. just, it's literally, I guess technically it would be the equals key and the minus key. But right. it, I just think plus and minus. Um, once I get zoomed into a certain level, if I need to zoom back out again, the backslash key will take me back and show me my entire timeline, but it kind of acts as a toggle. If I need to go back to that same level of zoom, oh, okay. I can just hit oh. it again, and it brings me right back that to uh, that pretty, same level of that zoom. That is pretty sweet, man. So, um, yeah, that's one that, uh, that I generally that. keep around. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Um, now, that's one good shortcut, but I prefer, in a lot of cases, to make my own shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to customize your own shortcuts in this program? Or? Yeah, there is. Uh, to find it, it's actually under the edit menu. Oh, okay. um, down here at the bottom, you'll find something called keyboard customization. Mm -hmm. um, to get you started with keyboard customizing, um, you'll notice right now at the top, we have a set called uh, Adobe Premiere Pro Factory Defaults. Mm -hmm. I can just change that to something called Shortcuts for Final Cut Pro 7. Okay. Um, now, I will say that this is kind of a, it's a good starting point. Um, okay. A lot of common ones are in there. I won't say every keyboard shortcut command is in there. Well, can I try one or two just real sure. quick to see if they work? Okay. Let's see here. All right. So, let's say that I want to mark in and out on this clip. It's called a mark clip. I usually, I'm just playing backwards there, I usually hit the X key and that marks the in and outs for my clip. So, I don't see that. <laughs> it's a mystery to me how to do a mark clip. So okay. how, would, how would somebody do that and how would I get a, a shortcut? So let's jump into the, uh, back into the keyboard uh, customization here. I'll show you where we can find that. Uh, under keyboard customization, this is actually going to be found under marker. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're looking at uh, setting a sequence marker oh, okay. in and around the clip here. So you can see here that the default keyboard command would be uh, the shift backslash key. Okay. So for me, a mark clip is actually called se set sequence marker in and around clip. That's cool. I mean, what if I just want to have that as X as my shortcut for marking the clip? Well, all you have to do is select this box here for the shortcut. And mm -hmm. once you do that, the keyboard is now live. Oh, okay. So whatever you type at this point, it's going to replace that keyboard shortcut. So in oh, this okay. case, if I come over here and I tap the X key, Okay. It's going to go ahead and replace this. You'll notice down here, if you ever replace a, a keyboard command and Premiere Pro has an existing command for it, mm -hmm. um, it's going to warn you about it. It tells you right here now, hey, this was already being used for something called the rate stretch tool, uh -oh. which is basically just selecting this rate stretch command up here in the, uh, the toolbar at the top. Okay. So if that's not going to be a problem, you don't need to worry about it. But uh, okay. if you accidentally, you know, Command X or something that you know. Obviously, you want to keep that as as cut. Uh, you know, you just undo that and, and move forward. Okay. So, um, so that's a really good example right there. But something tells me though that I mean, it's not a big deal to change these keyboard shortcuts, right? Not at all. Not at all. In fact, uh, once you start making these changes, you'll notice up here at the top, it no longer says Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcut. It's currently saying custom. Oh, okay. So what I want to make sure if I'm going to use this in, across multiple projects is just make sure I save this out to a file. So I could go ahead and call this one, uh, you know, Kevin's FCP okay. shortcut. I know where you're going with this. This is going to make uh, a small file somewhere in my Finder that I can take from system to system and have the, the same shortcuts, right? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Cool. It is a little bit buried trying to find that file. That's okay. Um, but uh, um, should I go through and show you? Yeah, just show me where it is. So okay, because I, I need to know these kinds of things. I, I move around to different systems all the time. Exactly. So, so where you want to go is into your user account. User. Um, go into the library, right. application okay. support, and there's an Adobe folder in okay. here. 
And then uh, you're going to want to find the Premiere Pro folder, 5.0, and you're going to find, here it is, if I uh, stretch this out just a bit, stretch this out just a bit, mm -hmm. and move this over so we can see that. There's Kevin's FCP shortcuts. Oh. It's a KYS file. Awesome. So one of the things that I do, uh, since finding the location for this, if I'm trying to paste this onto another system, sometimes I forget the, the pathing for it. No, uh, you, Carl, come never, on. Never, right? Um, <laughs> Take just, a screenshot of it or something like that? Exactly. Okay. Um, and there's actually a little, little trick to doing this. If I come over here to this uh, folder here, uh, hold down the command key on the keyboard. When mm -hmm. I click this, it's going to bring up the exact pathing for right, where right. I am right now. Yeah. And so from here, I can hit uh, command, shift, three, and it grabs a screen grab and throws that on my desktop. So that's pretty awesome. I can just take this file from system to system wherever I go. Exactly. Very exactly. Cool, so man. hopefully that uh, that helps out. You know, be sure and uh, use the keyboard shortcuts that you know are going to work for you and mm -hmm. going to make you work the fastest. Don't feel like you have to learn the Premiere Pro. Oh, thank God. <laughs> keyboard <laughs> shortcuts. Okay. So well, that's going to do it for this time. Uh, I'm Kevin Monahan. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.